Girl Scouts, it's Tori Hinojosa Hauk, and today we're going to work on our Daisy Climbing Adventure badge. So uh, while we're waiting for people to show up, go ahead and tell me who you are, where you're from, and what you're excited about doing outside. So this is actually a two-part badge, or like a choose your own adventure. So part of it is choosing between climbing or snow play, um, but for the purpose of today, we're going to focus just on kind of the climbing side of things. Um, are we getting on there, Liz? We are. Awesome. Who do we have? Do we have any from any place outside uh, of Ohio? Marie Cords, but it doesn't say where she's from. Hey, Jigsaw. <laughs> hey, Jigsaw. She's my other buddy. So um, right now I have my real life climbing buddy, Liz, and she is our videographer today. She's going to be my spotter. Brooklyn from Maryland. Brooke from Maryland. Hello. Welcome. Mm -hmm. How's the weather? <laughs> it's super nice. It's going to be 70 here, so I'm very, very excited. Mm -hmm. um, starting to kind of actually feel like spring. So that is awesome. Okay. So today, like I said, we're working on our Daisy Climbing Adventure badge. We're going to be working on steps one and two. Uh, so step one is kind of choosing what an adventure we want to go on. Step two is um, and then three is actually going out and climbing. So we're not going to be able to do three until we can get out and about and actually go to um, some climbing gyms. We're from Western Ohio, so kind of from the Cincinnati area. We are really fortunate because we have lots of climbing gyms in our area. Uh, so once we can get out and about, uh, check out Rock Quest, uh, Climb Time, um, as well as Mosaic Climbing. And I'm sure there's a couple other um, gyms around. Uh, but if you're from other parts of the states, um, just look up what's local um, and then just uh, whoever you're going with make sure you're double checking um, safety activity checkpoints before you head out okay so today um, we're going to talk about bouldering so bouldering is a type of climbing um, where you're not actually using a harness or a rope so you're completely um, just kind of using your own power you don't have that kind of a big backup you're not on the leg um, but it's a really great form of exercise. It's super fun um, and you really get to practice um, a lot of kind of problem solving as well as the physical activity. Um, so our first step of this badge, and if you're sitting down, go ahead and get up because we're going to kind of start moving around, is to kind of decide which adventure we like. So we're going to do some kind of charades of either doing um, some snow activities or some climbing activities just oh. to kind of see. They say it's hard to hear. Oh, okay. It's hard to hear? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? I hope so. It's the wind, I think. Okay. We could probably move slightly this way. Okay. Don't mind the boat in the background. <laughs> that might be better. You guys could just type in and let me know if you're <laughs> a bit louder. I'm not in my usual campiness yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we might have to go over there. Hi -fi. If you guys are on? Oh. Yes, they say yes, they can okay, hear you. Perfect. Sorry about that. You're in a little windy spot. Okay, so like I said, if you're sitting down, go ahead and stand up. Um, we're going to do some little charades between some of the snow kind of adventure stuff um, and the climbing adventure stuff. And if you think you know what I'm doing, go ahead and <laughs> or type it in. It might take a second. Okay. We're climbing, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so snow kind of play could be like skiing. Um, maybe I'm sledding. Um, maybe I'm snowshoeing, like ice skating. And then climbing, I think, will be pretty, pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> Voting. <laughs> what do you guys think? What was that? <laughs> You're probably saying hiking really weird or snowshoeing. And it was supposed to be snowshoeing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. What am I doing now? Whoa. 
What was that? I'm trying to climb. When there's just no... in the air without mm -hmm. the wall. Okay. This is really hard to move. This is my attempt at ice skating. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm not good at ice skating. <laughs> One time I tried to ice skate on my pool as a kid, and that was a poor idea. Mm -hmm. So I learned my lesson. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not sure how to. You got a like on that one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here for your guys' entertainment. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be hard too. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> gonna get like that. Oh, gotta get a little. I'm not good at this either. That's my attempt at skiing. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it says that it keeps freezing and it's blurry. It might just be. I'm just gonna try to clean off the lens really quick. Here. Okay. It might just, um, sometimes you have to close it off of, um, um, cause ours is going through pretty, pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I practiced, um, some different sports for you all. Um, so based on that, <laughs> usually, um, we would either choose on a snow adventure or a climbing adventure. Um, but for the purpose of today, we're going to kind of stick with our climbing adventure. But once it's nice and snowy out, I definitely encourage you guys to um, adventures out in the snow because those are super Okay, so we're going to focus on our climbing situation. So I already said that um, bouldering, climbing, for a harness, it's usually on um, kind of uh, small rocks or boulders. Um, and you're usually not climbing super high up. So for Girl Scouts, we're not gonna climb any higher than six feet. Um, and we're always gonna have a So when we go um, kind of show you a little bit of treated for your um, enjoyment. Um, so bouldering was first kind of started just as a way to train mountaineers on how to of the moves they need to do in a little bit safer environment and without being on ropes and stuff like that. It's a really good way to kind of um, practice some moves, but in its own right, um, it's a really good, like, athletic pursuit. Um, just like to boulder, and they might not do um, any, any other kind of climbing with ropes as well. So, um, what do you guys think you need to go bouldering? So you're probably saying um, that you might need some athletic clothes. That's all you need. So um, bouldering is really nice because you don't need a ton of gear. So I just wear like nice and stretchy and I can move it. Um, something that's not restricting. So just make sure like your shirt is nice and like flow restricted. Um, I always wear my stretchy pants, mm -hmm. um, but whatever is comfortable for you. You don't need to have any special shoes. You definitely can if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. And I'll give you um, climbing shoes in a second. Um, and then some people also use chalk too. And so chalk, you put it on your hands. Um, it just kind of absorbs sweat um, so that you can have a better. So before we go climbing, it's really, really important to kind of stretch it out. Um, and Liz always makes fun of me for some of the weird stretches I do. Um, but you do need to stretch out beforehand so that you don't pull anything uh, because you'll probably be using some muscles that you might not use all the time. Arm circles. Back and forth. I do like this stretch. That's really nice. Um, wall I like hold on to I'll show you in a minute so I'll like hold on to one and just kind of pull back and it um, pulls stretches your back out a little bit that you probably don't use a lot and then I also do some like hip stretches as well um, so you can kind of do like little swings like this 
like to do kind of a hip stretch. Ooh, I have a really great balance. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure I'm all stretched out, you know, like the classic, these kinds of stretches. Um, so just make sure that you stretch out kind of as much as you can um, before you get out there. So you don't hurt anything or pull anything because that's no fun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head into the barn really quick. Um, and we're gonna kind of go over some of the um, gear that I have here. And then we'll kind of show you what um, you can do bouldering. So excuse the barn. Okay. So um, right here, we have some of the, the stuff that you really kind of would need. Um, you don't have to go out and buy this. If you're going to a gym, they usually will rent um, shoes to you for like two, three yeah, bucks maybe. Much. Um, but if you have like just a pair of like tighter shoes, um, not big, um, like hiking boots or big um, gym shoes, but ones that fit your foot a little bit better, you mm -hmm. should be pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we can. Mm -hmm. So as you see, this is how big my regular shoe is. And this is how big my climbing shoe is. So it's a lot smaller. It, sorry. <laughs> it fits um, really, really close to my foot. And then it's like really kind of bendy. Mm -hmm. um, it has like rubber all around it so that when you're climbing, you can really kind of get a good um, hold mm -hmm. and, and kind the, of grippy. The toe is pointed too. Yeah, the toe is pointed. So you can get like tiny little tiny spots. Um, you can also do something called smearing mm -hmm. where you pretty much just put your foot on there and push kind of as hard as you can, and you can grab a spot, mm -hmm. um, even if there is only like a teeny tiny little spot. So um, there's these, and I'll put mine on in a second. Um, and then we also have our chalk bags. So again, you don't have to have this. Um, it's just nice. Um, everybody individually wouldn't have to get this if you're taking your troop. Um, you could just have a little bit of chalk and just kind of share it. Um, mine is just like in a sock inside here. And you just kind of get it on your hands um, and you're kind of good to go. If you're wearing rings, um, take those off. Mm -hmm. if you've got like hoop earrings, take those off. Um, if you have a smart watch, you might want to, or any kind of watch, you might want to take it off because I know I crack my screen constantly um, when we're climbing. So mm -hmm. um, just take off anything that's dangly or you care about. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have a phone, take it out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to accidentally drop that somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, and then we can kind of go over the wall really quick. Should I switch camera person? Um, not quite yet. Okay. So this is kind of our mini sample bouldering wall for you. Um, if you go to a gym, you're gonna have something much, 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 much bigger. Um, this is just what we could throw together really quick at a weekend, so you guys had kind of a visual of um, what kind of to expect. So um, we've got our bouldering wall. Um, and like I said, it'd be bigger. Um, it's usually in the middle of a climbing gym, uh, but it just depends on the gym that you're at. Um, you've got your different holds on here. So these big, big ones right here are jugs. So you can kind of see how it's like really, really huge. You can usually get like two hands on it. They're pretty easy to hold on to. Um, I don't have any super tiny ones on here. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, some holds are really, really small, and some are have like a some have just a really thin profile, so they're called like credit cards. They're really tiny, and you just kind of use your fingers a little bit to get there. Mm -hmm. um, you can also um, they're all foot holds as well. We mm -hmm. don't have any specific hand versus foot holds here, but foot holds are usually a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. So you've got your holds, um, and then we have our crash pad. So. When you're at the gym, it's probably not your couch cushions, um, <laughs> but we have to do what we have to do um, for you all to kind of see what's going to happen. Um, so when you go to the gym, um, you'll probably get an orientation um, from the people that work there, and they'll kind of go over spotting the technique before you get going. Um, it's just a lot of fun to kind of climb around and um, solve the problems. 
So problems are what different routes are called. I don't have any specific routes, um, but if you were going to, there's usually would be tape um, around here. And so if there was a yellow tape, you would only use the holes that are yellow or that have the yellow tape. Um, some walls are really nice because they have like, just the rock holds are color coordinated. So maybe you would only use blue holds to get somewhere or mm -hmm. use green holds to get places. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just important to get out there um, and try it and have fun. And once you kind of figure it out, um, then you can kind of try the different routes. Also mm -hmm. different people climb differently. So um, shorter people climb differently <laughs> than taller people do. Um, so it's okay if you're not doing a route the exact same way that mm -hmm. your friend is doing it because you guys all um, kind of do different things. And that's a really fun thing because um, the way like Liz climbs is way different than the way I climb. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see how other people accomplish a task. Okay. Um, make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay. Um, Mary, if you would like to take control. Hi, Mary. Hello. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm just putting a tiny baby shoes on. <laughs> so as you, I don't know if you can get a little closer, you can see they're really, really little compared to my normal shoes. Liz. Liz is swinging into action. Um, and Liz has different shoes than I do. So there's different types of shoes also that secure in different ways. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty. Mm -hmm. I like hers a lot. Okay. So while Liz is getting ready, um, kind of like the inside of your toe. You can definitely use other spots, that, but typically this is a, a good spot to use. Um, and when you're climbing, the most efficient way is to be really careful about where you're putting your foot um, because that's really going to do everything for you. You don't want to use your arms super stronger than your arms, which I don't always get. <laughs> so we are going to use our tiny little wall um, just to kind of show you kind of what it's like. Again, a normal wall would be a lot bigger. Um, and so this is just gonna be kind of a straight up and down kind of situation, um, but usually they're longer and you can traverse. So that's kind of going from um, like diagonally across the wall um, instead of just going kind of up and down. <laughs> so there's a couple ways you can kind of start. Um, and Liz is gonna be my beautiful spotter. So you can either just kind of start standing up and then you just kind of go at it. And then you can down climb. So that's just using your feet to climb down. Easy cheesy lemon squeeze. Um, the harder way to start is from a sit start. And I'm still practicing this. <laughs> so don't mind me. So you kind of start sitting down um, and then you kind of put your foot wherever you need it. Make sure you have a good um, foothold and you want your arms to be as straight as possible um, because if you're kind of doing this, you're just using your muscles and you're wasting energy. So you're just kind of going to kind of pull, use your legs. Oops. And I'm gonna fall. Look, look at that good Ooh. spotting. Excellent okay. spotting, excellent spotting. So you kind of just pull your hips close to the wall. And hopefully if there was more wall, we could kind of get up there and go. But we're limited to kind of what we've got going on here. Um, does anybody have any questions? Do you have any 
Anything you'd like to add? No, you did a great job. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of about about it. I can take that really quick from you. If anybody has any questions, um, let me. How do I flip this around? Oh, there you guys go. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Boop, 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 boop. So this was just a kind of tiny um, little intro to your daisy climbing badge. Um, you can definitely go ahead and once we're allowed to go out and about again, um, head out to a climbing gym and try bouldering for yourself. It's a lot of fun. Um, I, I enjoy it a lot. I know a lot of people enjoy it a lot. Um, so go out there and check it out. It doesn't look like we have any questions, um, but if you guys do, I will go ahead and answer them um, once we're off live. Um, but again, this was steps one and two of your daisy climbing adventure. For three, you need to go out and actually um, do some bouldering. Um, if you have any pictures of um, going bouldering, please post them in the comments so we can see them. If you are not currently a Girl Scout, go ahead and check out girlscouts.org slash join. Ooh, okay. Annabelle wants to know why chalk on the hands is important. So when you're climbing or when you're doing anything, your hands can get kind of sweaty. I'm like out of breath <laughs> just from like those two things. Um, so if you put chalk on your hands, it helps absorb um, the sweat and then you'll be able to get a better hold. And then Annabelle, um, if you ever go climbing outside, you'll see a lot of boulders, boulder, bouldering, have a little brush on the side of their um, chalk bag too. And they'll kind of um, go ahead and scrape off the, and brush off the chalk from other people so that it's not leaving as much of an impact. And you don't need a ton of chalk either. Um, like I just have like yeah. a little dusting on my hands. So you don't need a lot to get a good effect. Yes, you just need to put a little bit. If your whole hands are chalky and you're like clapping chalk off, you probably have a bit too much, way too much. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and get out and climb as soon as you can. Um, I'll double check for any other questions once I get back to the computer. And don't forget to join us um, every day at two and 10 for more Girl Scout fun. See ya.